sure pretty inspired after such a powerful panel on how to really build inclusive investment committees and, and um, systems. And I'm sure we're soon gonna be moving to a great panel on how to build a more economic, um, economically just world. The two themes that we're gonna pull across there is this theme of collaboration. But first, let me spice things up a little bit. How many of you here, and I'm, I can kind of see in the audience, how many of you here flew here to be at this conference today? I took a plane. All right, so most of us, me too. And how many of you took a look at your in-flight entertainment options? TV, movies, come on, we, don't be shy. You, we were all, I'm sure, also working, but also having fun. And when I was on the flight, I was thinking about cleaning out my inbox, thinking about this conversation, but then I needed a break. So I too started to scroll through some TVs, um, some movies. I thought about Harry Potter, Ocean's Eleven, um, Ted Lasso, Stranger Things. And one thing that really stood out to me is that they're all about teamwork. They're all stories about collaboration. I also realized that we're really used to this whole idea of the hero's journey, right? But really, that's the wrong frame. We know that no hero can ever go at it alone. We need each other to unlock opportunity for everyone. And that's why we're all here today, because we know this, right? As social beings, collaboration is in our DNA. But sadly, collaboration is not in the DNA of this moment in our country. Two thirds of Americans think leaders, people in this room, lack the ability or lack the skills to have civil debate with someone who might have an opposing point of view. Up to 75% say that most of their friends are more like them than unlike around socioeconomic background, around their beliefs, around their political views. And six out of 10 say their default tendency is to distrust. Public trust in America, public trust in institutions and in businesses in each other is declining. So for us at the Walton Family Foundation and probably most of you in this room, that is incredibly alarming. How are we supposed to build and advance a regenerative society, a society that works for the collective if we don't show compassion for one another, if we don't learn to meet people where they are? How do we solve the big problems of today that we know are too complicated and complex to solve alone if there is a perception that we can't engage in civil discourse? How are we to rebuild trust in this country if people aren't willing to collaborate? Well, the catch is we can't. So back to the movies and the TV shows, follow me here. There are good reasons for us to still remain hopeful. Think about the best teams. Think about the best stories about people working together to overcome challenges. At the beginning, most of those stories, most of the people, they didn't even really like each other. Think about Princess Leia and what she thought about Luke Skywalker. He was too short. Han Solo, too smug. They got over it. Remember the Titans is a parable about racial harmony, but those first scenes, those were about tension and about conflict with people from different backgrounds coming together to work on the same team, ultimately winning a championship. So the thing that brought those teams together, it wasn't that they had common grounds with one another. That comes later. It was that they worked together on common solutions. So as we look at the challenges before us, climate change, an education system that clearly is not meeting the needs in our families and what they are looking for today, especially for those who have the least um, access and least opportunity. We must work on these big systemic challenges and we must work together on common solutions. Focusing on division clearly is not working. So where to start? Written all over our Walton Enterprise office walls is a quote from our, Sam, from our founder, Sam Walton. And he said, great ideas can come from anywhere. You just need to know to listen and to look for them. And that really underpins our strategy. Our five-year strategic plan calls on us to look and listen to the people who are really rolling up their sleeves, who are on the ground doing the work, especially around the communities that we serve, from caregivers and conservationists, to educators and entrepreneurs, farmers and futurists. We know that people who are closest to the problem are often those who are closest to the solutions. We know we don't have all the answers. Our job is to get the people who have the answers around the same table. That's why our education team is working with the Equ Equitable Facilities Fund to bring innovative finance to philanthropy. Together, we support public, char uh, public charter schools with low cost, uh, long-term facility loans so that more school resources can really be put in the hands 
of those who need it most and keep it towards students. The fund is up to about a billion dollars in loans today with zero defaults. It's why we have our home region based in Northwest Arkansas and the Arkansas Mississippi de Delta where we're investing in supporting BIPOC entrepreneurs and understanding how they want to design and how they want to build an inclusive community, what that looks like for them so that we can fund against it. There are so many examples of how collaboration leads to greater innovation and inclusive growth. Our challenge, we all need to step up and out of our comfort zone to change our nation's storyline on working together. We know we need to collaborate and we need to collaborate around common solutions. And we need to show our future generations, like Gen Z, who are craving good role models, why they should be hopeful. So let's get to work by working together. Thank you.